Welcome back to Mind Pump TV, guys. I'm your host, Danny Matranga. We are here at Saiyan Strength, about to dive into and attack the box squat. The box squat is one of the most commonly used accessory powerlifting movements to develop strength and get through sticking points in your squat. But before we get into it, I'd like to say a special thanks to Momentus, who partnered with us to bring you this video today. And we've secured a special offer for Mind Pump TV subscribers at www.livemomentus.com dot com forward slash mind pump. So after you're done watching this video, make sure you go check that out. And without further ado, let's get into the box squat. I originally came across the box squat when I was reading through one of Louis Simmons' old powerlifting books. Louis Simmons is, of course, the owner of West Side Barbell, arguably the most famous powerlifting gym of all time. Now, why the box squat is so popular for power lifters, right, in conjunction with it being one of the big three lifts and an accessory for the big three, it allows you to attack a sticking point perhaps in your squat where you're struggling, to work on driving out of the hole, to kind of adapt to using heavier loads. Oftentimes athletes will box squat with close to or sometimes even more than what they're capable of squatting without a box. So it really gives power lifters a tremendous vehicle by which to go about increasing their strength. But in my years of training, I've also utilized the box squat as a teaching tool to be able to teach younger lifters or even older lifters how to sit back, how to get their hips into a squat, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to do a box squat in a kind of regressed version uh, that almost all of you can attack and take to the gym with you uh, and just teach you some very basic, simple coaching cues on the exercise uh, that won't be too complicated and that'll be relatively easy to understand. So after you have selected whether you're going to be squatting high bar or low bar, again, if you are a power lifter, most people are just gonna box squat with their competition squat style and their competition squat stance. If you're new to box squatting and you don't power lift, you probably squat high bar. So I'm just gonna show you that one today. So from right here, I'm underneath the bar into my typical squat stance. My ribs should be somewhat down, breathing into the belly. If I have a belt, I'm gonna do my typical Valsalva breathing here, okay? I like to pocket that breath into my belly to keep my core tight. Setting my hips back now towards the box. I pause briefly and explode up violently. You'll notice I'm cueing a posterior or backward hip drive, trying to load up my glutes and hamstrings as well as my quads to explode out with the most power possible. This is not supposed to look like me just bending my knees and bouncing up and down. You'll see that a lot, especially when new lifters attempt to box squat. That is a no-go. We are working on building up strength and power in the entire leg and glute. Another thing you'll see a lot, and this is perhaps the most dangerous thing people will do when they box squat. And quite frankly, it's a relatively safe exercise when done properly. So silly mistakes like this can actually cause a lot of problems. You'll see people set up normally, get back into position, sit down, stop, pick their feet up, and stand up like this. I see it all the time. And the, what's really going up, or what's really going on here, is they're kind of gathering some momentum as they sit back and then lean forward again. All right guys, so pro tip. This is gonna help you a ton with your box squats, but it's also got a lot of carryover to all your squats. When you are in your starting position, okay, and you are in the bottom of your squat, your hands are in the same place, but at this bottom position, pull the bar down into your shoulders as you explode up into that top position once again, right? So I'm actually thinking of like bending the bar down across my upper back. And I'm almost acting as though I'm trying to break through the bar here and it's gonna help you create tension. It's gonna help you create power. It's gonna help you stabilize your spine, get your rectors and your lats tight and really help you recruit as much muscle as possible for a big squat. And when we do something like a box squat where we have the potential to lift a little bit more weight often than we do without a box, the more muscles you have tensed, 
the more sturdy and stable your spine will be. And it'll just help you eliminate as much risk as possible to develop any cranky aches and pains. All right, guys, so to close, remember, the box squat is again traditionally used in powerlifting circles to get through sticking points, to develop power in the bottom position, to help emphasize the rate of force development and help make you a better squatter. But it is also a great tool for learning how to set your hips back, unlock at the knees, and load up the posterior chain, as well as teaching you some base level squat techniques like pulling the bar into your shoulder and bracing through the core. So it has a lot of modalities that you can deploy it with, uh, but one of the biggest issues I see, and I really wanted to touch on this, is new lifters doing too much too quickly when box squatting. Uh, anybody who can box squ or can squat between like 225 and 315, they can probably take 405 for a ride on a box squat. Uh, especially if they do it with some of the poor form stuff I showed you guys where they're bouncing up and down off the box. So don't let your ego get involved with this exercise, right? It's such a great, safe exercise for building everything up. Don't let it kind of become this crappy, uh, modified version that you're using to kind of fluff your ego. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks again to Momentus for helping us bring you this video. Make sure you like, comment below if you have any questions, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a great day.